dans le monde entier, c'est dans cette entité là où vous pouvez encore trouver les gorilles de montagne. Il y a seulement environ 800 qui restent sur toute l'étendue de la planète Terre. Maintenant, si nous les perdons, nous aurons perdu vraiment quelque chose de très important pour l'humanité. I used to make a lot of journalistic investigations, and while making those, I'd always come across these amazing people doing really inspirational things. And one day, I picked up a newspaper and I came across this story about this place called the Virunga National Park, with volcanoes and mountains with glaciers. It's one of the most biodiverse places on Earth. It's home to the last several hundred mountain gorillas. Um, so, you know, from an environmental perspective, this park is incredibly important to protect. You know, Eastern Congo is one of the poorest places in the world and the park holds a lot of the keys to, to, to lift, you know, tens if not hundreds of thousands of people out of poverty and with development comes, um, you know, stability and with that comes long-lasting peace. This story initially started out as, as a story about the rangers trying to rebuild their country. Maybe I was there about a week and um, the rangers said to me, no, no, you know, the real story here is about an oil company from, from your country. I've never met people with such bravery and integrity as, as the rangers. Over 140 have died in the last 15 years protecting Virunga, and every day they wake up um, knowing it, it could be their last. And yet they do that, they risk their lives because they believe in, in the potential this park has to transform the region. And, and I think you meet people in your life who care about something deeply, but it's very rare to meet people who will literally give their lives or sacrifice themselves for something bigger than, than them. And, and I find that incredibly humbling. And I, I guess, you know, in a small way, it made me want to be a better person in my own life. This was always about more than, more than just a film for us. This was always about trying to create a tool that could be used to, to protect the Virunga National Park. One of the first things that we knew we needed to do was to try and get as many people as possible to watch this film, uh, to, to learn about you know, the kind of injustices that were playing out in the park, uh, namely Soko International's illegal exploration for oil in Virunga. We've been screening this film to strategic audiences from the UK Parliament to Capitol Hill, to the EU, to the UN, to the World Bank. So there's a lot of, a lot of political support behind the park. Soko's own shareholders have also come on board and been very supportive. While the battle is far from over, there's been some amazing milestones and um, you know, we're, very, we're very proud to have been able to play a small part in that. Winning this award is, is a huge honour. We you know, started this project living in a tent in Eastern Congo um, and with all the, the very sort of scary things that happened and all the very powerful and dangerous people that never wanted this film to see the light of day, it was very hard to, to envisage even releasing this film. We hope this award allows us to, to keep raising awareness about this incredibly important part of our planet and the amazing people risking their lives daily to protect it. They must not feel that they are abandoned. They must feel they are in the family.